Hey team, so I just got a review from a student who took his Security Plus 501 and he sent me some notes and quick tidbits to share with you so you can prepare for your exam. So let me take a look at his email and I'll read you the parts that we can share. So the practice tests are good, he said, but the ones that he found are more about knowledge than preparing him for simulations or some of the uh, scenario-based questions that are on the CompTIA exam. He says the sims are not that bad, but you are not going to be able to memorize the answers. You really have to know what they are asking you for. And he suggests going through some specific things that he wished that he had prepared for better for his exam so that you can go take this and study. So first and foremost, I want you to know that the objectives are more accurate here than he said on his previous Security Plus exam. So definitely take a look at those. He said he needed to go through different types of viruses that he wasn't necessarily prepared for, so really getting into the details of the differences between whaling, spear phishing, hoax, those types of social engineering and different viruses that you come across in everyday life. He also said that he wished he was more familiar with different types of attacks and looking at the actual user interface. So whether it was logs, uh, SQL, XML, Active Directory, etc. He wasn't necessarily prepared for reading the logs or reading the scripts and seeing what type of vulnerabilities were there. So it's really a simple YouTube search, going into your resources and making sure that you at least know what it looks like. So you can tell the difference between if you're looking at something in a command prompt, you're in an Active Directory user interface, you might be looking at log, event log, or security event log type information, and you just want to feel comfortable when you're in the exam room with the different types of things that are going to be put in front of you. He also said, as per CompTIA suggests, look at the acronyms. You don't need to know them verbatim, but knowing what they're related to and the general idea of what they are was super helpful. He said, group them in categories and help. that will help you identify them by what type of acronym or what they have to do with. And the examples that he included were hashing, certificates, authentication, access control models, agreement types, protocols, etc. So he really just took the different types of acronyms that were in the objective list and group them together so he at least knew what category. You may get in front of a question that starts throwing acronyms at you, and you're like, oh man, what does this even have to do with? So if you're at least familiar with acronyms and you know that they're asking you about a virus versus a type of actual software versus some type of uh, specific hashing, maybe even just a, a control method, you'll at least get an idea of what they're going after and what they want you to know from that question. He also said there is a lot to know, but it seemed like it went beyond and deeper than Net Plus. So of course in your Network Plus courses, you're going to learn a little bit about network security, but not necessarily to the depth that you will in Security Plus. He said he's happy that he took Net Plus prior and that he was better prepared, and that he also suggests paying attention to the equations. So if you go into your Security Plus acronyms, you'll see ALE, SLE, ARO. These are different simple equations, and if you're familiar with them, take a few minutes, memorize what they are, what is involved in those. Then he said there was a few things that uh, he was happy that he had reviewed that information. All in all, it looks like it was a solid test. He did pass on the first time, so I'm super proud of him. Congratulations, you know who I'm talking about. And I am proud of you for taking the time to study for your exam. So get ready for it. Make sure that you are prepared well, and high five to you as soon as you pass. Good luck, and I know you'll be Security Plus certified soon.